Servant. So he says, Iqbid ruha Mikail. Take the life of Mikail. And Mikail falls. And then Allah Rabbul Izzah says, Who is left in the dominions? So he says, Ya Rabb, Israfil, the Hamalatul Arsh, and I, your humble servant. So he says, Take the life of Israfil. So the blower of the trumpet falls. And then Allah Rabbul Izzah says, Take the life of the Hamalatul Arsh. Those that carry the throne of the Dhul Arsh al Majid and the Hamalatul Arsh fall, and then Allah Rabbul Izzah says, Who was left in the dominions of Malakul Maud? He says, No one except for this humble servant at your beck and call, Ya Rabb. So Allah Rabbul Izzah says, Mut Ya Malakul Maud, die, O Malakul Maud. And he falls down, and there are some aqwal which he says in. Had I known the difficulty of death, I wouldn't have volunteered to take the life of the living. So for a period of 40, the length of which is with Allah Rabbul Izzah, there is nothing in existence. And in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Rabbul Izzah grabs the earth and scrolls up the heavens in his right. He scrolls up the heavens and, and then shaking it says, I am the king. And wa fi the Muslim, Ain al Jabbaroon, Ain al Mutakabbiroon, where are the arrogant ones? Where are the proud ones? An al Malik, I am the king. Ain al Muluk al Ard, where are the kings of this world? And then the voice of the Dhul Arsh al Majid. لمن الملك اليوم الله لمن الملك اليوم لمن الملك اليوم لله الواحد القهار to whom belongs the dominion today who is the owner of the heavens and earth today and the same voice of the Dhul Arsh al Majid to Allah the Lord of honor and grandeur and then the Dhul Arsh al Majid in فعال لما يريد Orders Israfil come up again, Israfil. So the blower of the trumpet is resurrected. He comes up. And then he tells him, blow again. And he blows again. They're standing up and looking. They come back up. And how are they resurrected? The Prophet ﷺ says, Hufatan, Uratan, Ghurula. Barefooted, naked, uncircumcised. Kama khalaqnakum awwala marra. Like the day you were first made in the first time. In your natural existence, Aisha said, Radiallahu anha, the embodiment of Haya, Radiallahu anha. She said, Ya Rasul, and look at the concern. Ya Rasulullah, we are naked. The men will be naked. One day look at each other. So the Rasul said, Ya Aisha, the situation is much bigger than for people to look at each other. The sun comes a mile away from the heads of humankind. And humankind are in that heat and they start to sweat. So some stand in puddles of sweat up to their ankles, some to their knees, some to their waist some to their shoulders, some people are drowned in it. Based on the wrong that you have done. And how long will the day last? Qala subhana, fi yawmin kana miqdaruh, khamsina alfa sana, 50,000 years. And Allah Rabbul Izzah says, fasbir, Allah, fasbir sabran jameela, have good patience. 50,000 years and you say but I can't stand for two hours the one that made you stand here the one that made you be able to stand and walk will make you stand for 50,000 years and humankind panic humankind panic and the fear is immense and the heat is unbearable and the sweat is covering people. The people will be pulled out of their graves, the first to them to the last. And they will say, as Allah Azza mentioned Surah Yaseen, Ya wailana, 
Oh, woe to us, the disaster for those that weren't prepared. Man ba'athana min marqadina. Who woke us up from our sleep? This is what Ar Rahman had promised, and the Messenger spoke the truth. This realization will occur on the Day of Judgment, and then people will be gathered. The forefront who outraced everyone will be in the forefront. Then the people that will go to paradise from the first get after the judgment will be on the right. And those that are destined to the fire, even if just initially, they will be on the left. People will be grouped, and then everybody will receive their books, and they will read their books to themselves. What a day. Allah will tell the people, recite your book. You will not be shown your deeds. You're going to say, I did such and such on such and such a day. And I did such and such on such and such a day. And I disobeyed Allah on such and such a day. And I feared Allah and stayed away from His fire on such and such a day. You will unravel it to yourself with your own tongue. And those that Allah wishes to have mercy on, He will say, I conceal these sins for you in this world and I forgive you for them today. And there are those that will be told, you forgot about me in this world, and today you will be forgotten. May Allah make us of those that Allah envelopes in His mercy on that day. Allahumma ameen. And then after the judgment comes to pass, a sirat, the bridge will be struck across the width of the hellfire, as we are informed by the Prophet ﷺ, the end of this bridge is paradise, and below it is the fire. This bridge is thinner than a sword, thinner than a hair, and sharper than a sword. And it is not solid, meaning it is loose, which adds to its slippery, and then it is dark. And a person traverses, gets across that bridge in proportion to his deeds. Not an issue of skill. Today is a day of repayment, not a day of tests. When the people of paradise have gone to paradise, and the people of the fire have gone to the fire, death, not the angel of death, death itself, is brought forth until it is placed between paradise and the fire, placed there on the bridge. Then it is slaughtered. Then a caller calls out, O people of paradise, O people of the fire, no more death. So the people of paradise increase in joy upon their joy. This, this is permanent. And the people of fire increase in grief, agony upon their agony. And of course, since the day of judgment is of the matters of the unseen, no one can claim knowledge about it or believe anything regarding it except that which has been told to us by the Quran and Sunnah. It's part of believing in the Day of Judgment. Part of believing in the Day of Judgment, you're obligated to believe that whomever claims to know it is a liar. It's part of your belief. You're not allowed to become worried. What if it's right and the possibility and become scared? You're obligated to call that person and believe him a liar. Because Allah the Most High said in Surah Al-A'raf, they ask you, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, about the hour when it will come to pass. Say its knowledge is with Allah. لا يجليها لوقتها إلا هو. None will bring it forth at its time except Him. And then later on in the verse, the verse is lengthy. لا تأتيكم إلا بغتة. Another point of information. It will only come to you suddenly. No one's going to be expecting it. So the knowledge of the appointment of the Day of Judgment, we must believe that is not known by an angel that is near to Allah, nor a prophet that is beloved to Allah. This is something that Allah has kept exclusive to Himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that even though that it's knowledge no one knows but Allah, the signs for it have been given to us by Allah. And this is a manifestation of Allah's mercy. You know, because most of us, we don't, constantly remember the judgments or remember death. Rather, we see what's in front of us, what we can touch and we can feel, and we believe that we're going to live forever, even if we don't admit it. The best of us says, I'm not going to die now. At least I'm going to go to the hospital for two, three weeks before I die, and I'm going to repent, and we forget these things. So he put almost on every page of the Quran, as we mentioned, verses about the Day of Judgment. And then Muhammad Wasallam told us, here are signs. So every one of them gets us to what? Hurry up pull ourselves up, rush more and more. This is of the mercy of Allah. Don't think that the signs of the Day of Judgment, as some people want to say, are signs that are supposed to get you to become horrified to the degree that you stop working, and you sell all your property, and you turn your back on the world, and you do whatever you're going to do. So of the signs he mentioned, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hadith you can go back to, inshallah, he said count 10 before the Day of Judgment. 10 major signs. As for the minor signs, 
there are plenty and some of the scholars have listed them in Kathir rahimahullah and others uh, in great detail and they are worth studying for it increases a believer in Iman and faith on top of his faith when he sees these signs unraveling every single day before his very eyes and as for the major signs he mentioned sallallahu alayhi wa that they will occur at such a rate that whomever has not prepared faith before them he will not be able to catch up he will not be able to catch his balance and rebound because they will occur at such a rate that a person will be taken off guard. So may Allah grant us a new iman that is firm and certainty that never wavers. Allahumma ameen. But regardless of whether or not you live to see the major signs of the Day of Judgment, we also believe for part of our faith that when a person dies, there is his judgment. When the trumpet is sounded, why is the earth also going to be destroyed together with um, earth? Another thing I took note was of um, if the angels are going to die, does it mean that when the world is shaken, not the world, but earth is also being destroyed, each and every person that has ever lived or will still be living at the time of um, judgment, they will all die? what's the meaning behind the angels dying and second question is will everyone on earth die as well otherwise this was very very interesting i always say um you have to learn with every video you have to learn at least one thing it's really up to you and what you pick up from these videos otherwise interesting video and um it seems for the first time I'm hearing that it seems like we're going to be reset to the way we were born the first time. No clothes, no no rings, no no accessories. We're just going to be the way we were born in the first place, which is very, very amazing. Otherwise, I enjoyed um, listening to the message of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.